99.9% of people will not watch this video. So if you did click on it and you are in the 0.01%, the one in a million who's watching this, first off, thank you for clicking. And secondly, I'm telling you this video was meant to be, it is meant to be that you clicked on this and it's meant to be that you found me. So we're gonna get right into it, but I have four questions for you. Number one, what is your number one desire and how will it feel to achieve it? Second, what do you have to sacrifice in order to obtain this goal? Third, what is your why? Four, what will achieving this goal reveal about who you are and what you value most? So now I know I kind of ran through those pretty fast, so I wanted to take a second and talk about each one. First question, what is it that you desire? What is the number one thing that you desire and how will it feel to achieve it? It's very easy for us to think about what we want, what we want to do, what we want to achieve, but I want you to take a second and really not just visualize, but feel the emotion, right? How is it going to feel when you finally achieve that goal? I want you to feel that sense of accomplishment, maybe that happiness, maybe that relief, whatever it is, Take a sec and imagine how you will feel when you achieve that goal. I'd say imagining and visualizing how you feel when you achieve a goal is twice as important as just visualizing the goal in general. Second, what sacrifices, what things do you have to cut off in order to obtain what you truly desire, right? We all know what it is. We all have those friends who maybe aren't the best influence, they're a little negative. They don't push us in the right direction. They don't help us move closer to our goals. Maybe it's that girlfriend or that girl that you're always hanging out with that's holding you back, keeping you right where you are. Maybe it's the PlayStation 5 keeping you complacent. Every day after a long day at work, uh, you know what you need to be doing to work towards your goals, but instead of going to the gym, instead of working on that business, you're hopping on PS5 because you're scared of missing out playing with the boys. We all know what it is that's holding us back. Now, the question is, are you willing to sacrifice that? Are you willing to cut those things off? Are you willing to give up sleeping in on the weekends, going out on Thursday night, playing video games instead of hitting the gym? These are the things that you need to ask yourself. And if you are willing to sacrifice what you want right now for what you really want, you will move closer to your goals. The third thing, what is your why? I am so grateful that one of my mentors instilled this mindset into me. We don't wanna just have goals. We don't wanna just have these things that we want to achieve. We need to know and we need to create our why. Why do you want to achieve that? Why do you wanna become rich? Why do you wanna become healthy? When you have a why attached to that goal, it is gonna make it so much stronger and is gonna make it so much harder to give up because you know you're gonna be letting down that why. Maybe your why is for your family. Maybe your why is for your girlfriend. Maybe your why is for yourself. Figure out what your why is and anytime you want to quit, anytime you want to give up, anytime you wanna do something that is gonna take you away from your goal, take you backwards, remember your why and keep moving forward. And the fourth one that I think is just the deepest, what will achieving that goal reveal most about you and the values that you hold. On that journey, on that way to success, what will you discover about yourself? Will you get to your goal by taking shortcuts, cheating, lying, putting yourself first? Or will you stay true to your values? Will you work hard, persevere, help others along the way, mentor? The list goes on, right? But I want you to really think about that last one. What will achieving that goal reveal about who you are. Some people, their goal might just be, oh, I wanna just get that Lamborghini. I mean, I don't blame you. I want a Lamborghini one day. My main goal is that C8 Corvette. Maybe to some people, it might make me look like a bad guy one day when I'm driving it around, but I, I know when I'm driving that thing around, I'm not gonna be snobby. I'm not gonna let it change who I am. I would love for all the kids coming around to get pictures in it. I would love for my little brother 
to take that thing to prom. I would love for my grandpa, who has just been obsessed with Corvettes all his life, to be able to drive that thing around. So I don't know. Maybe that's my why to why I want to achieve that goal. But like I said, if you found this video and if you really watched it to this point, you're already setting yourself apart. So I hope you can take these four questions, really think about them, but not just throw it away and clip the next video. I want you to take these things, keep them on the top of your mind, make sacrifices, know what you want, create your why, achieve your goals. If you've never seen my videos before, truth is, I'm just like you. I'm working towards my goals. I know what I want to achieve. I'm making these videos to document my success, to document my journey, the work that I'm putting in towards the business I'm creating and the goals I have for my life. But I'm also here to motivate and push you guys to become the best versions of yourself. So subscribe, check out some other videos. I had a little time off, some vacationing, some summer, but this fall videos every single day. Thanks for watching.